Somebody suggested that I grade this problem, and I think it would give some insight on how professors think about uh, grading problems. Uh, so let's do that. Here's the calculus problem is the derivative of e to the x squared, and that's the solution which seems completely wrong. So uh, what should we do? Well, you should step back and before you grade a problem, we should have come up with a rubric of how we're going to grade these questions because who knows what students are going to come up with for answers and we want to have some uniform approach to grading all the problems in the same way. So let's do that first. To come up with a rubric, we have to come up with the correct solution and then think about how we got there. What are the steps and how we're going to assign points? The very first step to compute this derivative is to realize that e to the x squared is a composition of two functions and we're going to use the chain rule. So that is the very first step uh, for the student is to identify that this is a chain rule problem. Then we have to identify what is f of x and what's g of x such that e to the x squared is f of g of x. So identifying those functions, it's an important step. And then you have to carry out the chain rule. So you have to find the derivative of f evaluate it at g of x and find the derivative of g of x. Now we're ready to come up with a rubric. Identifying a chain rule problem, I'm going to give it two points. Identifying the functions themselves, I'm going to give it three points. Taking the derivative of f and evaluating correctly at g of x, I'm going to give it three points. And taking the derivative of g is going to be two points. So how did the student do? It looks like they identified that problem as a chain rule problem correctly, so that's great. It seems they identified the functions e to the x and x squared correctly, that's good. But then when they did the derivative of f, instead of e to the x, the derivative being e to the x, they used that e to the x derivative is x times e to the x minus 1, which is of course wrong, and it renders all that part of the solution uh, wrong. Notice, though, that they did evaluate this at gx correctly, and if you put x squared for x here, you do get the solution they got, which would have been right. But I'm going to take all three points off for that very basic mistake. And last, the derivative of g of x is correct. gx squared derivative is 2x. That's good. So overall, I'm going to give the student a 7 out of 10. Now, you might think that this is a very generous grade for the solution they provided, but you have to be fair. You have to come up with a rubric ahead of time before you look at solutions and then just assign points for every step the student did right. Moreover, the student might learn a lot from this grade. They might learn that they did get many things right along the way, and they might learn that if they had just studied a little bit more and got the derivative of e to the x correctly, they would have gotten a perfect score. So in a sense, this grade might actually encourage the student to do much better next time. And if you had been a harsh grader and gave it a 2 out of 10, then the student might in fact give up on uh, mathematics and give up on calculus because of that particular grade. So. I am okay with this, a 7 out of 10 is good.